Do you ever feel like you can read minds? Like you know someone's mad at you without them even saying anything? Yeah, me too. Hi, I'm Demi or Coach G as my clients like to call me. Back again doing what I love to do, simply find the complex signs so you can have better outcomes. In this series, we've been exploring cognitive distortions, those sneaky thinking patterns our brains can sometimes trick us with that can distort our reality and negatively impact our mental well-being. Today, we're diving into a thinking pattern called jumping to conclusions, also known as mind reading. This is when we make negative assumptions about a situation without any real evidence. It's like playing detective without any clues. For example, your partner walks in with a frown on their face and you immediately assume they're mad at you, so you keep your distance. While in reality, they may just have had a bad day at work. Or maybe your child doesn't immediately respond when you call them and you jump to the conclusion that they don't respect you. And as a result, you are harsh, leading to a cycle of escalation, tension, and strained relationships. Simply because the assumption we made, the first explanation our brain came up with, which we haven't learned to challenge, is what we hold on to and run with without making room for any other possibilities. What's the problem with mind reading? This kind of thinking can cause a lot of unnecessary anxiety and even damage relationships. It's easy to get stressed out if you're constantly assuming the worst. Remember, cognitive distortions are a normal part of our human experience. We're all prone to inaccurate ways of thinking to varying degrees. What we have to learn to do is first recognize them, which is why I'm committed to providing you with psychoeducation, and then next, we can challenge them. So here are some helpful tips. Ask yourself, is there another possible explanation? My personal mantra, which I have to repeat to myself multiple times a day is, there's always more going on than is immediately apparent. Two, respond with curiosity. By acknowledging there may be more going on, your next task is to gather more information. What other possibilities could there be? Three, Communicate directly. Instead of assuming, just ask. A simple question like, hey, are you okay? Did something happen? Did you not hear me? Can clear things up. Remember, you are gathering more information and asking questions instead of making accusations will make a better outcome more likely. Think about how you would expect someone who wanted to get a helpful response from you to approach you and practice approaching others like that. Next, Focus on facts, not fantasies. Stick to what you actually know, not what you are imagining someone might be thinking. Remember, you're not alone. We all jump to conclusions sometimes, but by being aware of this thinking pattern, you can learn to stop the mind reading and build stronger relationships. If your struggles with jumping to conclusions persist, it may be helpful to seek professional help from a mental health expert. Cognitive behavioral therapy is a great way to get to the root of negative thought patterns and change them for the better. If you're eager to explore more ways to improve your emotional and mental health, follow me as I simplify the complex science so you can apply it to your life today. Thank you for tuning in and I'll catch you on the next episode.